Rock Blast comes through. We miss. As if we missed. As if we missed. Shadow Ball. We can live that, right? These choice specs, maybe not. <gasps> we lived on 8 HP. Come on, Torterra. Don't you do me dirty by missing this next Rock Blast. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today, we're in a battle versus Ruki in the Smogon Underused tier. And looking at their team, they got some powerful stuff. The Latios and the Haxorus stand out. They've got a little Ninetail support with Aurora Veil, Articuna, which I really respect, Kamala's awesome, and Mandibuzz. Pretty good stuff. So they probably lead off with the Alola Ninetales, if I had to guess. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my Scizor. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. We can bullet punch it straight away. Scizor actually matches up really well against their entire team. They haven't got a single fire type, for example. Um, and bullet punch stings pretty much everything for neutral or super effective damage. So that's what I'm going to do. And the battle begins. Good luck. Have fun, Rookie. So they're going to lead off with Sandman, the Kamala, as we lead off with our Scizor. So right off the bat, they don't lead with a load of Ninetales, which is great. Kamala is one of them Pokemon where I don't really know what it does. I know it can't really touch Sizzle though, so I'm going to go for a U-turn right now. They are We outspeed them, which is interesting, do a nice 45% damage, and then we're going to switch back out. And I'm thinking of going into the Keldeo. I think Keldeo is a good choice, because if they yawn, we can just flip turn and get out of there. So let's see how this plays out. They do go for a knockoff, which is going to give us a justified boost. Not that it matters for Keldeo, because it's not really a physical attacker. I mean, you can run it physical, but I choose not to. Um, they do knock off our choice specs, though, which is really unfortunate. Now, looking at their team, I would say they have a U-turn here, um, fearing the secret sword, or they stay in like a ballsy man. I think they stay in. I'm going to go for a secret sword. I'm just going to play it safe. They do withdraw. Okay, so they're probably going to go Latios, if I had to guess, um, or Mandibuzz. So they go into Kitsune, which is probably the Ninetales, right? Yeah, the Ninetales. Interesting choice. So Ninetales is good, though, because it gets the snow warning. Um, which boosts its defense and secret sword hits on the physical side. So that's not too bad. I need to touch this micro like he's dropping Do my head in uh, Anyway, let's go for um, I want to go for a hydro, but I'll probably miss so I'm gonna go for a flip turn There we go flip turn comes through Nice bit of chip damage to the nine tails, which is great. Keldeo comes back to me and uh, They probably go for the Aurora Veil here. So I'm gonna go into Scizor. We do have defog on the Scizor so we can friend the Anola nine tails out and go for a defog. So they go for the Aurora Veil, which is great and all for them. But like I said, I'm just going to defog away this thing because they have to switch out against the Sizzle, right? So we go for a defog here. There's no way they randomly terrify a Terra Blast, right? No, they withdraw. That's good. Okay, so no terrify Terra Blast. That's brilliant. So Mabel comes in, which is going to be the what? The uh, Mandibuzz. So Mandibuzz is a good shout there. We go for a defog. That's going to clear away those screens, which is great. And um, gets rid of that Aurora Veil. And then we can just go straight for a U-turn here. I don't see any reason not to go for a U-turn. I want to get in... Ooh, foul play. Stings a little bit. Does half. Wow. We go for a U-turn. There's probably going to be Rocky Helmet Chip as well. We need to be more careful with this scissor. We need to be way more careful with this scissor, I think. So with Mandibuzz in, we can freely go into whatever we want to take it on. I'm leaning towards the Torterra, Shell Smash, Rock Blast. Or the Ice Beam on the Gudra. Looking at the U-turn damage, I'd say they're more physically defensive than especially defensive. So I'm thinking Gudra might be the play, or Shandy, more likely Gudra, because it's got Ice Beam. So let's go Gudra. Nothing on the team really wants to switch into Gudra. Gudra actually matches up really well against the team, um, when it's got, not got a switch in that. So if I go for an Ice Beam, they can't switch Latios or Haxorus in. Especially Latios, because we're Assault Vest. Let's go for the Ice Beam, I don't see any reason not to. So Ice Beam comes through, does some massive damage to the Mandibuzz, which is fantastic. They go for a Toxic and miss. Ooh, that's not good. Snow does stop as well, which is fine. We go for an Ice Beam again. There's no real reason not to. So Ice Beam is going to hit everything. So they withdraw their Mandibuzz, probably to the Alolan Ninetales or the Kamala, I would say. Cold Chicken. That's the Articuno, right? Yeah, Articuno. Cool. So Articuno is in. I haven't seen Articuno in ages. I want to use it. Let's go for an Ice Beam like that. So yeah, we go. No damage, as expected. Um, that thing is very specially defensive, that's for sure. So if we assume they're going to go for a freeze dry, we could go Sizzle, but I don't want to ruin it by going for it. You know, I, I don't want to ruin Sizzle. So I'm going to go into Shandy. I think Shandy's a good play. So Shandy can come in and go for a flamethrower here. Um, I'm going to go into Sol away real quick. I want to keep the Focus Sash, so I'm not going to trick the RTQ now. I, I want to keep the um, the uh, Choice Scout, sorry. Yeah, see, I don't want any chip damage on my... Uh, Sizzle right now. So I'm going to go straight for a flamethrower. This does invite in some Pokemon. 
it invites in the uh, Haxorus and the Latios. So I'm actually tempted to go for a Shadow Ball here. Predicting that. I think it's pretty obvious they have to switch the Articuno out against the Chandelure, right? So we go for a Shadow Ball. They Terrastalize. This could still work out, depending on what they Terrastalize into. This could still work out nicely. Ghost! We were... We made the perfect play by accident. I mean, Shadow Ball was the right play because they had to have switched out there or terrestrialized. I didn't consider the terrestrialization being Ghost, though. It still does nothing. That's got to be Assault Vest, right? They go for a Terra Blast. That Articuno is coming through for them right now. I don't think it'll KO Chandelure. Yeah, we live on 2 HP. That's, ma that's wild. That is wild. So if we assume they're going to go for that again, we should switch out. I'm leaning towards the Gudra, but at the same time, it's, it's clearly a Salt Vest. We need to, we need something a bit more hard-hitting on the physical side. So I'm leaning towards... To um, hmm. We assume they're going to go for a Shadow Ball. Uh, Terror Blast, sorry. Necrozma's not doing much for us. We could go Necrozma. And see how much the Terror Blast does. If it does over half, then we're screwed. I think we do that. I think we go into the Necrozma because Necrozma's right. Here's the thing about Necrozma. It's, it's got this ability called Prism Armor, which halves the damage from super effective moves. So Terra Blast is super effective. It's also coming from an Articuno, which isn't the best specially offensive Pokemon in the world. I think it's like base 80. We should be all right here. Yeah, it does less than half. I thought so. I thought as much. So that's good. We can just go for it. Uh, we can have a go for a Stealth Rock here or a Photon Geyser. I'm leaning towards the Stealth Rocks, but I'm also leaning towards getting rid of this thing. I'm going to get rid of this thing. I'm going to get rid of it. So they did withdraw. What are they going to go into, though? That's the real question. Mabel. What's Mabel again? That was the Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz is a good play. Photon Guys is not going to affect it, obviously. We are max speed on this Necrozma, I believe. So I'm going to go for a Heat Wave now just to take it out. There we go. Heat Wave takes out the Mandibuzz. Necrozma putting in the work right now. Necrozma putting in the absolute work. So Mandibuzz goes down, which is fantastic. And now we just have to see what they've come to revenge kill Necrozma with. Sandman. Is that the Kamala? It is the Kamala. What's Kamala doing here? I'm really curious about the Kamala. They, they have Rapid Spin on this thing, so I, there's no point setting up Stealth Rocks. So I'm going to go for a Photon Geyser. They go for a Sucker Punch, which is going to sting a little bit, but not too much. As we go for a Photon Geyser, which cleanly takes out Kamala. Nice. And the Photon Geyser, I think it... it changes from physical to special depending on your most dominant stat or it could be based on the opposing pokemon's defenses so i'm not sure whether it's that because kamala has lower physical defense so it might have changed but anyway snow warning is here with kamala gone i feel safe going for a stealth rocks they're probably going to go for an aurora veil as they do which is fine if we can get stealth rocks up that's going to be really nice there we go late a bit, a bit, a bit mid games mid game rocks can't go wrong with some mid game rocks get stealth rocks up like that um, and then all we have to do is, because this thing can die to the uh, Articuno now, we should go for a Heat Wave. So I'm going to go for the Heat Wave. I think that's the way to go. They go for an Encore. Oh, I, I run Encore on my Ninetales. I think a lot of people do. I think it's pretty standard. I should have thought of that, but I mean, it was worth trying anyway. It's definitely worth trying, because now all we have to do is um, switch out, because they're, they're just going to attack us, right? So we sack off something here, or we go Gudra. I think we go Gudra. I think Gudra's the way to go, because Gudra can sponge a Moonblast from this thing, no problem. Gudra can definitely sponge a Moonblast, thanks to its Assault Vest and Bolt in general. So there we go, Gudra comes in. They go for a Freeze Dry, it's a bit weaker than Moonblast, which is great. No damage. No Freeze. It was a crit. That was a crit. That was a crit. On Gudra, that was a crit, so um, that's great. Let's go for a... I want to go for a Sludge Bomb over a Fire Blast. I really want to go for a Sludge Bomb over a Fire Blast. So they go for a Dazzling Gleam. They haven't got Moonblast, so that's interesting. So that's going to do some damage. We go for the Sludge Bomb. Should KO. No, Light Screen's too strong. Light Screen's too strong. So now I want to Terra Poison, but I don't at the same time. I feel like Terra is going to be useful for, for elsewhere. So I'm going to Sludge Bomb now. They do withdraw. They might think we're Choice Specs as well. Cold Chicken comes in. The Articuno. Now Articuno can't touch us really. It can't really touch us, but we can touch that, if you know what I mean. We can drop a Draco this next turn, so that does no damage. Snow stops. Aurora Veil's still in. I say we drop a Draco on this uh, this thing. I think we drop a Draco. I think we definitely drop a Draco. They go for an Ice Beam, which is going to sting quite a bit. Not too much, though. And then we drop a Draco, and that should do a nice chunk of damage. I did nothing! Why is Articuno so bulky? 
What is going on right now? I, I know I know Aurora Veil's up, but jeez, that an assault vest Articuno, that's amazing. So I'm gonna sack off Shandy here. Because we're clearly not getting through to this Articuno. We're definitely not getting through to this Articuno right now. We need to hit on the physical side. So I'm gonna go into you, the sh the chandelier. They go for the ice beams finishes off, which is fine. Down goes Shandy. And then we have to bring Torterra in. We have to bring Torterra in. And this is why we save our Terra. So I'm going to go Torterra. I'm going to Torterra Astralize. Well, hey, Torterra. <laughs> Get it? It's funny. Uh, anyway, Torterra was the original Trashalization Pokemon. So we're going to we're going to Trashalize Steel. So we can resist the Ice Beam. And then we go for a Shell Smash. That's, that's what we have to do here. So they withdraw... And they're going to go into Kitsune, which is going to be the Alola and Ninetales. We're going to get that snow back up. Stones are going to dig in, though, which means it doesn't get the snow up, which is great. So that was just a sack play. That's fair enough. But we, we, we get a free Trashalization and a Shell Smash with no damage, which is, which is a W for me. I, I'm, I'm taking that as a W. There we go. Terra Steel. Terra Steel is still weak to fire, but we do resist that ice. We do resist that flying. And um, so that's great. So Shell Smash comes through. Boom. Torterra is golden. Torterra is ready to go. It is ready to go. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff from Torterra. There we go. Nice and boosted. Nice and boosted. In comes Dracula, which is going to be probably the Haxorus, right? Yeah, Haxorus. Nice and shiny. You've got to love it. So we break a potential Focus Ash. They go for the Mole Breaker. There's no way they're Choice Scarf, right? They've already terrored, so we can just headlong rush, right? Their Aurora Veil has wore off, by the way. I will say the Aurora Veil has wore off. We, um, you, you won't have seen it because I had to cut it out because I wasn't speaking. But the Aurora Veil wore off. So let's go for a headlong rush right now. I don't see any reason not to. Boom. Down goes the Haxorus. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff from the Torterra. Torterra might actually clean up right now. This may be a Torterra cleanup. Which would be amazing if it is. Absolutely amazing. They're going to go into the Latios. So Latios is an interesting one. I don't know whether Latios will live a Rock Blast or not. I guess we'll find out. So let's go for the Rock Blast. Rock Blast comes through. We miss. As if we missed. As if we missed. Shadow Ball. We can live that, right? It's Choice Specs. Maybe not. <gasps> we lived on 8 HP. Come on, Torterra. Don't you do me dirty by missing this next Rock Blast. We don't miss the next Rock Blast. Oh, yes, and it's a 2 it KO. It's a 4 it KO. You've got to love it. Torterra coming through right now. What an absolute legend. Latios goes down. We are in a very good position right now as the Articuno will go down to a headlong rush. In comes the cold chicken with the Articuno. Articuno was such a cool Pokemon C, right? Stealth Rocks are going to dig in. I don't want to risk missing with the Bullet Seed or the Rock Blast. So I'm definitely going to go for a headlong rush here. Headlong Rush comes through. I make sure I don't click the wrong move. Down goes the Articuno. That's going to be the game. So that was a really fun game. Torterra popped off in the end there, which is always nice to see. And I basically have got this idea. I want to pull off all the starters. So I was going to start with Venusaur, but I already had this Torterra team. So I was like, you know, we'll try Torterra. And Torterra finally worked. It worked really well as well. Like, that's such a good one. GG, Rookie. I really enjoyed that one. But anyway, here is the team tryout. If you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen, let me know if you use it. I'd love to hear what like your success with it and stuff like that. But with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.